Hello, y'all. Welcome to another Sarah reading. Uh, on this side, we have the logic cards. On this side, we have the uh, emotional cards. We can see where you're at logically and emotionally. But first thing required is uh, that we tune into each other. So on my side, I'm going to leave singing ball. I asked you on your side, since it's the, uh, it's the physical action that you can do to tune in to me, uh, I ask you to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. You know what I mean? And uh, drop a comment if you feel like it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but nonetheless, I'm going to do my part, which begins with me asking your permission. And uh, first and foremost, you have my permission to connect to me during this tarot reading. And I ask you for your permission. So, may I please? Thank you. Let's begin. So these cards right here are your logic. It tells me what you're thinking. Uh, they're read this way, that way, and this way. So I shuffle them this way, that way, and this way. The other ones over there are read upright, so I shuffle them three times this way. And uh, out of the Lord Ganesha's prayer uh, or mantra in order to uh, remove all obstacles between me, the reader, and you, the viewer. So let's begin. Let's see what you're thinking. This board represents the present, what you can think, what you can feel. This board represents what you can't see, what you can't think, or what you can't think through. And what you can't feel, and what you can't feel through, or what you don't know. This represents what you would know, what you would see on both sides. Get me? All right. So as far as what's in your present energy, we have, and that is, sorry y'all, I've been in a car wreck, so I gotta have the light in order to read. <laughs> Be careful and avoid a loss. So you feel like you're at a risky time or you feel like you're having to make decisions um, of significant value, the specific decisions of significant value. So uh, anything from selling a car to taking out a life insurance policy, uh, you're worried uh, insurance wise I don't know life insurance I don't think insurance wise like having a backing of some sort so be careful and avoid loss could also represent uh, your 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 um, your financial okay so it could be that you're pacing yourself financially in order to try to avoid a loss 
could be that you're trying to time things appropriately that way you uh that way you don't end up reflecting with bad credit or whatnot. Okay. <laughs> now what it is that you uh that you can't see through or that you can't think through. Be very kind when you meet your newest friend. So, there will be somebody that come into your life. And either A, you're automatically going to be drawn to being kind to them. Or B, they're going to seem a little off to you. And you're not going to be able to understand some aspect of them and you're not going to be able to see some aspect to them. Because you're caught up in the difference. It's not a judgment thing. Just they come off odd to you. Maybe, maybe maybe this person is the first uh type of uh make sure the right side up uh, very kind um maybe this person is the uh is not the type of person that you've seen before and so that makes them odd to you um hopefully in a way that they're odd so they're like uh, inquisitive or, or mysterious or something that you want to find out about but if it's not that way the warning here is you might find out that it is okay so we have uh, be, uh, be careful and avoid a loss see it might be that this person comes across a little different Okay, and what you don't see is that this person actually has a depth to them. Okay, and if you're not kind, and you know, so that sounds like too much of a warning. Like for like, like we talking about fairy tales and whatnot. You're gonna wish that you had been a little more kind and a little more inviting to this person because you're going to find out there's a death to them. And if you're not, or if you're not at least something that keeps them interested, you're going to, you're going to have a loss. You get me? Now, if you could see through this, the, the card don't say it, but I'm saying if you could see through this oddity, this, uh, the fact that this is the first of this kind of a person that you've seen, okay, so you don't really know how to take it, if you could see through that, you would see. Don't give so much advice cause causes hard feelings. So I'm not telling you don't be open to this person. I'm not saying that, okay? I'm saying that, you see, uh, I don't care what the card says in a way, okay? And I don't care what the world really tells me, okay? As far as the fact that if God puts it on your heart, to try to reach out and help somebody 
and you choose to be caring enough to take the time out of your day to try to reach to this person, then that's a glorious thing, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that, okay? The only, the only thing, okay? See, humanity's labeled a lot of crap with a lot of crap, but um, it's only because humanity doesn't really seek the depth okay so why why does your advice cause hard feelings okay how does that happen right and that is because uh while you are acting out of your heart and you are acting out of truth okay i said it before about this card about giving generic responses okay so you say something that comes across as judgment but you, you're using, um, you're, you're trying to bridge the gap between what you're trying to say to somebody, you get me? And so you use common things that people say. And sometimes those common things get taken out of place. But I don't really feel like it's that so much as that sometimes we can give advice okay that we don't not that it's a lie but that we don't mean and what i mean by that is just that we think it's for the betterment of the other person do you get me and so what happens is is that it causes heart hurt feelings okay because if you stand in your heart and you stand in your truth, it won't, it, it won't, okay? But if you stand in somebody else's heart and somebody else's truth, then it will. And what I mean by that is that you're not being true to yourself. So the words coming out of your mouth, you're a parrot, okay? You're not speaking from your authentic person. That's why I say you want to live a righteous life, you be the real you, okay? That's how you can check yourself on that. But the uh, the thing to say to you is, is that what ends up happening is that even though you you like this person and, and you're caring and you're trying to, to give advice, uh, you're trying to give advice or, or, or maybe this is the reason why this comes to me. Let's say, <laughs> that you have yourself in a situation where you see an opportunity, right? So you're like, planted up above everything to look down on and, and see what's really happening because you can see all the pieces. And, uh, and while, while you're seeing, while you're seeing all these pieces, okay, you start doing something that, um, quite frankly, is not your business, okay? And that is, um, now, it's not assuming as far as the fact that you really do have the vantage point to see all the pieces. That's not the assumption I'm talking about here. I'm talking about the assumption of that you have some sort of clue. And I'm not trying to put you down. We all do this as human. And it actually really shows that you care especially if it's in the way that I think it is, because this means that you're denying yourself. You're denying yourself someone or something else, okay? Um, because uh, you think you know what's right for them, okay? And it's not your business to come to any conclusion of what you think is actually right for them because you don't know, okay? Uh, you can only really tell what's right for yourself, 
okay? So in the meantime, what ends up happening is, is that you give advice, not because you're trying to be inauthentic, but because you're sticking your nose somewhere it don't belong. And, and the truth of the matter is, and this is, this is really kind of how I feel about this, is that whereas a really good friend that you've known for a long time, it's iffy, but okay, you can have your friends back, right? You can have your family members back and you can try to make some decisions for them as far as trying to block them from certain things. Eh, I, I tell you, you serve a high chance. I don't want to put a number on it. I, I want to say eight out of 10, but I really feel like the answer is higher than that. Um, of getting in the way of something that you have no business to getting in the way of. Uh, in this case, you get in the way of yourself. Do you understand? So you put yourself out on the street corner uh, to save this person for what you think is better for them, but you have you have no clue. See, truth of the matter is, is that it really, it really, I really feel that you don't know this person enough to make any sort of decision for them in any way, shape, or form. Okay, and truth of the matter is, you don't know what is or isn't right for them. And what I really want to tell you, what what really comes out strong to me is that you are what's right for them but instead you're deciding to get in your own way okay so 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 this person comes in right and uh they're your newest friend and you like them and you like them a lot i, I really feel romantically inclined on this so I'm going to say you, you, you could see a relationship with this person, but then, I mean, I really want to say that you goody two shoes it up, but I don't want to imply any judgment. So you decide to be caring and nurturing and you decide to look at the vantage point that you have of the situation and you say, this is what's good for this person and I'm not. And therefore, what happens is, is that you, uh, see, not only do you screw yourself, but you screw them too, because you've taken their choice away. You never talked to them. You never had any conversation. You never, nothing on that line, on that aspect, in any way, shape, or form. So you've made the decision on your own without them. Which is, uh, by the way, not what a partnership is. A partnership is 50-50. If you feel a certain way, then you should, you should convey that and see what their responses are. Because if the two of you two can't communicate, then, I mean, I would say that there's no point. But obviously, there's a chart reading about it, so that there is a point. Okay? And I think that point is, is that, number one, it's going to off-put you that this person is what it is that you've been looking for and it's the first one that you've seen okay and and cool right however uh what you call it don't give so much advice you you putting yourself and it's cool it's sympathetic you putting yourself in their position and deciding what's right for them you cool on the putting yourself in their position, okay? You cool on the trying to be empathetic and trying to rationalize and, 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 and you cool on giving a damn, doing a good job. Pat on the back, okay? But here's the issue, is that you're making the decision for them and that's, that's the second that you do that is the second that you know that you've already messed up, okay? And so when you make the decision for them, you say, hey, you know what I mean? Billie Jean is the one I love, but uh, the baby ain't mine, right? Uh, but the, uh, the situation is, is that um, you end up driving them away. So you end up driving away your own match. 
because you think you know what's best for them and you think you can make a decision for them and I don't judge you on any of it the only thing I say to you is this right here is that if you can see a relationship with anybody then the very first thing that you have to admit to is that conversation is key okay and if this person's done their part and you haven't stepped in any way shape or form and you're deciding not to because you're deciding that you know best for them without even knowing them probably making a mistake but we're gonna find out how your emotion is on it so as far as what you can feel in the current you feel the eagle boy this thing just keep coming up for me today i don't even know how i'd be shuffling it and everything as confirmation after confirmation you feel uh vision perception so i mean you gotta read this i'll tell you when, when these when these vision cards come up when the bird cards come up and they talk about vision <laughs> This is your perception on the whole thing. So this is this is what I'm saying. There's, so there's a confirmation right there. I told you your perception is um, you're you're up top and you're looking down on these pieces, and you think you know what's best for this person. I mean, let's 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 find out, right? So what's what's on the veil real fast? So the veil, the thing that you can't see through, is you got another another uh another vision card because it's a bird right so it's an owl okay right and and i'll read this to you uh, we can you hear what i'm saying wisdom deception intuition insight communication mystery freedom secrecy stealth and vision okay so, you have a vision of what's going on. You can see the little puzzle pieces. <laughs> and you've decided that your vision is, the, is, is, is it. And what you can't see through, literally, as I've already said earlier, somewhere on this card, because I can't. I can't read them and they're backwards in the screen for me. But somewhere on this card, it says something about mystery. So what you can't see to them is that the, and I don't know how an eagle would ever be common, but we're just going to put it that way. The common eagle that you think is just an eagle is actually an owl. Okay. And uh, you are deceived. Not in the fact that you actually have vision and that you can oversee the puzzle pieces and what's going on, okay? But in the fact that, what you call it, the owl here, okay? There's more to the situation. There's more, there's more to be seen. There's more to be known. There's more to be experienced, okay? You never see, you'll never know, you'll never experience any of it. So long as you are putting what you think you know is best over someone else. I, I tell you, I, I said it a million times already. I'm sure I, I'll say it a million times more. Okay. You do not have the right to put your will over other people. Okay. Just because you think you know what's right for someone doesn't mean that you do. Your job is to mind your business. You get me? Okay. So when it comes to looking at somebody and making a decision for them, uh uh. Especially if you feel a relationship or romantically drawn towards them. Your best answer is communication, okay? Especially if they've already communicated with you. Is. With the readings I've done today is, especially if they've already communicated with you, you don't have, it's, I just, no, I'm, I'm not gonna say that. But you don't have the right to make a decision for them, okay? So either you decide that you want to be away from them or not 
be kind to them or be off-putting to them and make it whatever because you don't like them or you ask yourself do you right and then you mind your business and you tell the truth and you communicate and you see what comes back okay then you're going to find out that the common eagle or what you think is the eagle actually an owl okay and uh you don't have any business making any decisions for anybody so if you with your perception could see through your perception of what you think you know then you would see is that your card? Is your card? then you would see and I always think this is pretty hilarious, right? it's a horse um, <clears throat> peace gregariousness progress instinctiveness responsiveness, spirit, freedom, stamina, vitality, and recklessness. So, uh, I mean, really, my answer to you so far is that you need to mind your own business and that you need to not be making decisions for other people, especially so if your heart tells you that you have an interest in this person, but you're deciding to close your heart up, especially if that's the case, okay? No, if your heart tells you yes, and you think there's a yes, you don't have the right to make the decision of no for the other person, unless you're saying that she's just not interested. And that's fine, but I don't think all this would have come up if you weren't, okay? And so I, I say to you in closing this, because this is as far as we're going to go with this, because you need to do some soul searching. You need to ask yourself, what do you know? How much of it is your judgment? And uh, why? Right? Why? Why the judgment? Okay? Um, why do you think that it's your job or your responsibility? Or that it's even your right to manage. Not, I'm, understand me. I'm not talking about managing your own heart. I'm talking about you looking down on the situation and managing somebody else's. I, I, I actually think that you know that you like this person, but I think that's as far as it's gone. And the reason why I think that's as far as this guy is because we got this force card right here. We're about to we're about to talk about something about that, but the mystery The reason why you're gonna find out this is an owl and not an eagle. <laughs> the depth to them that you haven't sought. Okay. The thing is about them that you don't know. Okay. And uh, I go so far as to tell you the reason why you don't have any business making any decisions for them is you should ask yourself if you actually really care about this person. And if you do, then you should follow your heart and you should let God take care of the rest and have faith. Uh, my proof to you is on this card right here. Now, O oh, knower of things, since you looked down on the puzzle pieces and you decided what you think is this or that and what should be and what could be, I ask you, did you know that they possess these qualities? Look at that. Did you know they possess these qualities? 
Did you know that? Have you learned enough about them to know that they possess these qualities? This person that you're making this decision for about what they should or should not do with their heart, regardless of what your heart says. Did you know this about them? Hmm? Have you learned enough about them to know this? Because this right here says, come over here and read it. Peace, gregariousness. Now, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't know what that means. So these are right over the top of my head. Uh, progress, instinctiveness, responsiveness, spirit, freedom, stamina, vitality, and recklessness. So you know what I think is going on here. I think some of y'all have severely, severely, severely underestimated your boy or your girl, whatever, whatever, okay? That's what I think. I think that if you actually knew that your person honestly had these qualities, and if you got an honest chance to see in what way they exhibit these qualities, then, um, you wouldn't see them the way you see them right now. Okay. But you're making the choice for them. You should stop that. Shame, shame. Okay. I say it to you one more time. Take a second. Breathe. And ask yourself, how do you feel about this person? If your heart goes thump thump. If you got a little, little spark in you for them. Then your next step is communication and not shutting the door. Otherwise, if you shut the door, make sure you're really not interested because if they were something to shut the door on, you wouldn't be being asked to be kind to your newest friend. Okay? I'll leave it then.